This is a tutorial about uh, adjusting the control valve. And there's your control valve right there. That uh, valve should be used for uh, putting the chamber into the fill or the exhaust position. And um, these are the tools. You might have one of these two tools. Um, the top one here is one that we made in the past. This is one we're currently making. Just a different position on the Allen key. It sticks out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the pressure. This unit, you're going to hear it leaking. Open up the inlet shutoff valve on this model 610. And we've got the lid off. You can already hear it leaking. Gas is passing through the, the control valve, even though it's in the off position. What we're going to do is we're going to cycle the uh, control valve to the exhaust position. And now we're going to use the Allen key in to remove turn it counterclockwise, remove the lid off, and the Allen key will then fit on. There we go, right on those two times, and it's tightened clockwise. And we want to just tighten this just enough to stop the flow of that. And now we're going to put the cap back on. Remember, you're going to orientate it in the same position. It might have turned a little bit, so yeah, we're going to orientate it in the same position on the flat spot. Tighten that up. Care should be taken not to, to make sure that it gets orientated properly, otherwise when you point the valve it won't be in the right position. Now you can see that it's, it's properly working it. It's good to cycle it once too because sometimes there's still some stuff caught in it. If this doesn't um, fix the problem, then you probably need a new valve, but that usually fixes it the first or second time. These are an adjustable valve. They're good for about six, seven thousand readings. If you have further questions, you can contact us at PMS Instrument.